Hello and welcome. Welcome to an hour of chair yoga. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. I am so happy that you joined me today. And I want you to know if it's your first time or if you've done different practices with me, that there is absolutely no way of you doing this wrong. Our bodies are all put together differently. We all have different things going on. Everything I offer is simply a suggestion. So you can listen, figure out whether it works for you. Not all of the suggestions are going to be for you. So leave what doesn't feel right and play and explore and see how to work with your body, not against it. We're not trying to push the body or force the body in any way. We're allowing this smoothness to come into both the breath and the movement as best as we can. And through that, build awareness to how to do it for yourself. If something doesn't feel right to you, change it up, adjust it, or simply pause and rest. You don't need to do as many repetitions, or if it feels really good to you, do more. This is a video, so it's really easy to pause. It's really easy to skip forward or skip back and do something again. And if at any time you feel like you're done, don't feel like you need to come to the end of the class, come back to it whenever it feels right for you. Give yourself permission to do what you need today. Making sure your chair is comfy and above all else, stable. We'll come to a mindful seat. Maybe you wanna use the support of the back of the chair. Maybe you wanna slide away from it and support yourself. One is not better than the other and we need different things on different days. So trust that instinct within you as to what feels right for you today feet at a comfortable distance for you, and we'll find ourselves in this seat, in this moment. Take a breath in when you're ready. On that exhale, start to let go of your day or your week so far. A couple more breaths like that, just beautiful sighing exhales. Let it go, releasing tension, tightness, releasing the to-do lists, the thoughts, the concerns. And we have lots of different practices to bring us back to this moment. And the easiest way to do that is through our senses. So taking your awareness down to the soles of your feet, whether you've got shoes or socks on or bare feet, notice, feel into the support underneath you. A great way to do this is to soften the gaze or close the eyes. We tune out the outside world a little more and we get a little more intense with our sensations coming in. So feeling the support underneath you. Noticing with a curiosity if you're leaning more into one foot than the other. Maybe you wanna pick up through the toes, spread them wide. Maybe even imagine stretching the soles of your feet from your heels to the tip of your toes lengthways and breadthways as well. And then when it feels right for you, let the toes soften down to the earth if they were lifted. And relax and release the legs through the hips and the lower back so they really are supported by the earth or whatever the surface is underneath. We'll keep the softness through the legs and then take the awareness to where our seat meets the chair. Settling into that support. Noticing just like the feet, if you're shifted more to one side than the other, if you're shifting more to the front or the back of the chair and consider what feels right for you today balancing the shoulders more or less over the hips in your own way and the head drawing back over the heart space-ish. 
just suggestions. Let's take a big breath in when you're ready. On your next exhale, soften the upper body so you really land the weight into the chair. So the pelvis, the hips, maybe even the back of the thighs really are supporting our upper body as are our feet. And then from there with that connection downwards, relaxing through the hips. And again, softening through the lower belly, the lower back. There's often tension there that we don't even notice we're holding. And then with an inhale, lifting up through the center line of the body so the crown of the head gets a little closer towards the ceiling just by a millimeter. Rolling the shoulders back and down a couple of times without any stories. And then settle the shoulders away from the ears in your own way, hands resting wherever they're comfortable. And then we'll broaden across the collarbones as we snuggle the shoulder blades just a couple of millimeters closer towards each other behind us. And we have this beautiful openness across the heart space. And here's our mindful seat. Take a breath in when you're ready. On an exhale, adjust and soften so it feels like it's sustainable. Relaxing through the jaw, the face, allowing the shoulders to be heavy, and still this lifting through the center line of the body. With this posture, knowing that you can shift and change at any time, soften the gaze or close the eyes if you're comfortable doing that. And ask yourself the question, how am I doing in this moment? Notice what arises without judgment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Notice what's on your mind today. Be curious, be the observer. Huh, my mind is thinking about this thing. And it might change a lot from one thing to another. We call that monkey mind as the monkey goes from tree to tree. Or maybe it's one thing that keeps coming back. No stories, no needing to fix it, just noticing. And then we notice if there are any emotions connected to those thoughts or feelings that are very present for us in this moment. Observing, not needing to unpack it or change it. And then expanding your awareness to encompass your whole body and start to become aware of sensations. How you're aware of your body today. Staying away from the stories. For example, if you have a sensation in your shoulder, we don't need to know why. Just, huh, I'm feeling that in my shoulder. I get curious, how does the other shoulder feel? Well, how does that feel if it's in the front of my body? How does the same place but in the back of the body feel to me? So we start to train the mind to look at all different kinds of sensations, not just the loud ones, not just the challenging ones. Soften any tightness that has crept up or you become aware of. And then we start to notice the breath, the breath as it comes in and out. Notice the rhythm of your breath and consider breathing in and out through the nose. And if that's not there for you today, breathe in your own easy way. No straining, no forcing. We increase or sort of deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale so it gets a little deeper, a little longer. It doesn't have to be a lot. We're not forcing. And then we 
smooth it out, steadying to the top of the inhale, smoothing to the bottom of the exhale. Notice if you can take that breath all the way down into the lower belly. So on the inhale, the belly inflates a little as if there's a balloon in there and on the exhale, that belly deflates. A lot of us do reverse breathing which is on the inhale, the belly draws in. So just try if that's the case. Know that that is very, very common. So if that's the case, hand on the belly can help. When you breathe in, feel the belly expand. On the exhale, allow the belly, belly to soften so the hand draws back towards the spine somewhere. And use that steady breath to regulate the breath. And if you lose this belly breath at any time, you can always bring a hand down to this lower belly. It's not a very big movement. We're not really forcing <laughs> air in. What we want is a gentle expansion and softening. And we'll do this again when we come down to the earth. When we're lying on our back, this is a whole lot easier. And it's a great thing to start the day with and end the day with as we go to sleep, lying with our hand on our belly. It's one of the easiest ways to regulate the central nervous system. So with that deeper connection to the belly, and of course the belly's really not taking air in and the air is in our lungs, but the diaphragms, the air fills up through the bottom of the lungs, the diaphragm pushes down, which pushes the belly out, that's the inhale. And as the diaphragm pushes the air out of the lungs, the belly draws back in. So that's functionally what is happening. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep that connection to the belly breath. I'll keep bringing you back to it into your awareness, that breath is not for you. You can let it go and keep with those steady breaths. No forcing, releasing any kind of straining as we root down through our feet and seat once more, connecting downwards, and then get this lifting up through the crown of your head. Rolling the shoulders back and down and noticing how that feels. You're gonna take that right arm down next to us. I'm mirroring you, of course. And then we'll circle the shoulder. Inhaling round and up, exhaling round and down. And we blend that steady breath with the steady movement. You might notice some areas that are not quite so smooth in your shoulder, and that's why we're doing the movement doesn't have to be perfect. At the end of your next exhale, let's pause and then take that round in the opposite direction. You may feel this in very different places. Mm -hmm. Noticing how that feels for you. that exhale, let's pause, take that hand into a tight or soft fist, draw that elbow in towards the ribs a little so we stabilize the upper arm and circle through the wrist. Nice and slow. There might be some areas that you're rushing through, see if you can slow that down. It's always going to be awkward areas in every movement. Let's pause and take that round in the opposite direction. It's either areas that we don't normally use, so we don't have that much strength there, we don't have the awareness or the control. Mm -hmm. And then we'll release that, wiggling those fingers and taking the right hand back to support as we dangle that left arm. Inhaling, round and up, exhaling, round and down in whichever direction you're going in. Keep connected to that belly breath. Steady and smooth. You can keep going. Or at the end of one of your next exhales, let's pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Notice where you feel that. If there's any adjustments you need to make. And then at the end of that exhale, we'll pause or when you're ready, taking that left hand into a tight or soft fist, elbow drawn in, and we isolate through the wrist. Smoothing the movement as best as we can. And then we'll pause, take that round in the opposite direction. Smooth and steady. And when you're ready, we'll release those fingers. And then we'll dangle both arms down, keeping them, the shoulders rolled round and back. We're rooting to rise. We've got that steady, continuous breath as we are aware of it down in the belly. And then on one of your next inhales, let's lift up through the right ear. Exhale, coming back through center, and then lifting up through the left ear. So we're getting length through one side of the neck and then the other. Again, trying not to force here or strain. Only going as far as the breath goes. So we're not holding the breath at the top of the inhale or the bottom of the exhale. Noticing that entire movement for the whole breath. Option, next time we tilt the left ear up to stay, drawing the base of the skull back in space, and then just drawing that left shoulder back a little if you want to increase the sensation, draw it forward if you want to decrease the sensation through the left side of the neck there as you lift the ear. Option to draw the chin down as if you're glancing over that right shoulder. You can move that chin around in little circles, figure of eights, or natural movements that increase that awareness to the left side of the neck. Coming back through stillness, lifting the chin up, and then the crown the head comes up to keeping those hands dangling next to you let's go side to side a little and you might notice one side of your neck feels a little different next time that right ear lift same thing here option to stay as the other side you can draw that right shoulder forward to decrease the sensation or drawing it back in space and it's only millimeters right ear is lifting and that right arm is dangling down, so we're really isolating here. Option to stay there or draw the chin down over that left shoulder. And you can keep in stillness or natural movements that you're drawn to, circles through the chin, very slow and steady. When you're ready, coming back to stillness, Chin comes to center, and then on the inhale, let's lift the crown of the head up. Let's do a couple of circles here with both shoulders one direction, and then the opposite direction too. Mm -hmm. And then from here, we're going to take things with two different options. Right arm comes up in a cactus or a T, stay here, or take the fingertips on or towards the shoulder. This is where we're going to stay. I'm going to draw that elbow down next to the side of our body. Inhaling, forward and up. Exhaling, round and down, drawing the elbow close to the ribs on that exhale. Option to stay here. If you've got any shoulder stuff going on, make sure that those movements are within the breath. And then the other option is to dangle that arm down and come to the side. And I'm going to reach up, keep that elbow bent or towards straight. I'm going to take circles through the whole shoulder girdle. 
Keeping the heart facing forward. Let's take another two or three here. And then at the end of that exhale, we'll pause and take it around in the opposite direction. And you can always start with the hands towards the shoulder. Notice what that feels like. And the option is to lengthen the arm. And of course, you can keep those soft joints or reaching a little length through the joints. Your choice. And notice where you feel this. Keep the breath steady, that belly breath. Keeping the spine as neutral as possible. So the movement really is through the shoulder. And then one of your next exhales, we'll take that hand back to support. Any intuitive movement to release tension, please go ahead. Take a big breath in, right into the belly. Exhale it out. Come back to the regulated breath. Same thing, other side. Left arm coming up. Option to stay here. Fingertips on or towards the shoulder and then we draw the elbow down. Inhaling as big as or smaller circles as you like, forward and up, exhaling round and down. Great place to be right here. Option to stay there or start to move from the shoulder with an extended arm. Easy through the joints. That doesn't have to be a big movement. Keeping the heart facing forward Keep the breath regulated right down into the belly. And then on one of your next exhales. Remember, you don't have to do everything matching my body. We'll pause and take it around in the opposite direction. You might want to start with the fingers on the shoulder. This shoulder or this direction may feel very different. So be gentle with yourself. One cycle to one circle of breath or resting in between. One or two more. Always listening to your own body. Mm -hmm. We'll take that left hand down. Any intuitive movement to release tension anywhere. And We'll come back to our seat, coming down into seated cat and cow. So extending, which is arching the back and flexing, which is rounding the back. We root to rise. And then on the inhale, let's draw the shoulder blades towards each other, starting way up here. That's the inhale, heart is forward. Exhale, send the fingertips towards the knees or rounding the top of the shoulders. Option, of course, to bring in the cervical spine. We lift through the chin, the back of the neck on the inhale. Exhale, drawing that chin down towards your chest on that exhale. Filling the front body, the belly with breath in the beginning. And then the exhale, as we draw the belly in towards the spine, we're pushing the air, the diaphragm comes up and the belly retreats. Option to draw the front ribs forward. We're getting down through the mid to lower back. Back of the ribs push towards the chair on the exhale. Inhale, maybe dragging the heels of the feet back. So we send the tailbone out behind us, getting down into the low lumbar spine, the lower back. Exhale, push down into the feet and we curl onto the back of the pelvis. You can do as little or as less as you want, a little or as more as you want, your choice. More is never better in yoga. We're just exploring, noticing what feels good today with a curiosity. And if it doesn't feel good in a certain way, ask yourself, what would feel better for me? Would resting feel better? Can I adjust it in some way to work with my body? Let's take another couple here. Allow yourself to move in your own way. Mm -hmm. And then after one of your next exhales, 
will come back to a neutral spine. And then from there, dangling the arms down next to us. We've already been here, shoulders back in space, base of the skull, shoulder blades at the back of the pelvis, leading into an imaginary wall here, rooting to rise. And we've got that awareness down in the belly with the breath. This is the inhale on the exhale, just shifting the shoulders, keeping them level, shifting them over to the right side without lifting the left hip. So we keep that anchor down, inhale back through center and exhale over to the other side. What we're getting here is that side shift through the spine, keeping the pelvis anchored down. If it feels weird, that's because it is, but consider functional movement as we reach for one thing over here and we reach for the other. In actual fact, to increase stability and strength through the shoulders, we lift the arms and reaching towards one side, keeping the arms lifted, come back through center and reaching towards the other side. Mm -hmm. Nice and slow. Let's take two more either side. If those arms are getting heavy, you can of course take them down by your sides. Keep the breath still moving down into that belly. Two more breaths, one either side. Your own rhythm though, you do not have to match mine. We'll come back through center. Let's take those arms, give ourselves a little hug here. Walk those fingertips up towards the shoulders. Maybe they wrap to the shoulders, round the shoulders. And then we'll draw the elbows down, chin comes down, breathing into the back of the ribs here, three breaths. All the way down into the belly, even here with that compression. The whole torso expands on the inhale, softens on that exhale. And then as we come up on the next inhale, notice which arm is on top. Let's stretch those arms wide, maybe even back behind us. Wrap the opposite arm on top. Same thing, walking those fingers back. It may be a little or a lot. And then stay here or drawing the elbows down and breathe into the belly, but into the back ribs too. Increasing on the inhale, decreasing on the exhale. More or less one more breath here. You can always come out early, of course. Mm -hmm. The next inhale, up we come. We're going to take those arms wide. And then let's take those arms together in a cactus here. Just a few, inhaling wide, exhaling. Take the pinky fingers and the elbows and towards each other. Maybe they get there, maybe they don't in this lifetime. Inhaling wide. And all this is doing is really allowing that openness through the shoulders here. One more. You can always drop the elbows down. It's gonna make it a little easier to meet those elbows and towards each other. Next time we come to that inhale, let's stay here. Exhale, sending the fingertips down towards the earth in a kind of scarecrow. Inhaling up, to just two more here. Keeping the same bend in the elbows. Mm -hmm. And on that exhale, let's take those arms down. Sweeping the right arm up, round and across, drawing the right arm in towards the chest, but then rolling the right shoulder back and down. So we're broadening across the collarbone here, not pinching any nerves. Fingertips reaching towards that left side, but draw the right shoulder back in space. So we're not shifting through a twist here. Mm -hmm. Stay for the breaths, those belly breaths, even here. And then option to release that arm. Little wiggle here, and then we'll take that left arm, same thing, up and over, drawing the left arm in towards the body. Naturally, that left shoulder is going to want to creep up by the left ear, and we roll it back and down, drawing the left shoulder back in space. So we get this opening across the shoulder. Fingertips reaching towards that right side. Any numbness, tingling in the hands, then you're coming out of this. 
just means the nerve is pinching in here. Let's take another breath here. And then when you're ready, releasing. Mm -hmm. Hands resting on the thighs. We're gonna come into a slight rotation here. So we've done a lot in the shoulders. Let's keep those arms down. This is the inhale. We lengthen through the crown of the head. Exhale, right shoulder hand comes forward as we glance to the left, inhaling back through center. And then let's go straight to the right side. So we're going side to side here. Noticing how this feels. Side to side to side. Noticing if the hands are doing a lot of the work here and gripping to allow you to get a little deeper twist. See if you can hover the hands. So the movement is really coming from the spine here. The sitting bones are anchored down. Next time we come to the last exhale, we'll come back through center. Beautifully done. And now we'll take those feet a little wider, making sure that you feel stable here. If you need more stability, sit back into the chair. Let's come back to that rooting to rise, maybe the hand on the belly, or just taking that awareness down into the breath of the belly. Mm -hmm. And then from here, those hands to the top of the legs or the arms of the chair. And then we're gonna roll those ribs forward and round and then round and back. Trying to melt this with the breath. So as we inhale, we inhale deep into the belly as we arch the back. On the exhale, as you're coming round, we're pushing the belly in, the diaphragm lifts, it pushes the air out. You can allow this to be a very gentle, small movement. You can allow your body to move for you. So maybe the shoulders, the head, the neck get involved, the hips, maybe they don't. Try and allow as much fluidity in here as possible. I always recommend, if you feel stable, closing the eyes, softening the gaze down. So we go inwards and start to notice what our body is telling us within this movement. Trying to get as much flow as possible. And then when you're ready, we'll pause and take those circles around in the opposite direction. It's a very controlled movement. There's not any momentum here. So at any point, if I said pause, you could simply pause there. Smooth breath. Notice the breath down in the belly. Mm -hmm. And we're using the abdominals to notice and help the breath as it comes in and out. Next time we come back through center, Let's stay, come back to that belly breath. And then when you're ready, we'll take the feet back in towards each other, just washing the knees side to side to side. Nicely done. And then we'll come back through center. Soften the gaze, lower the gaze, or we'll close the eyes. Come back to that gentle breath, in and out, regular breath. Awareness down in that belly. And then ask yourself, notice how you're doing. Your mind, your emotions, your body. If there's any tension, let it go as best as you're able. Regulate the breath. And give yourself a mental pat on the back for as much as you've done so far. And when you're ready, I'll meet you down on the earth, resting on our back, having everything handy you need for relaxation, extra pillows, a bolster, an extra blanket, an eye pillow, anything at all. 
And if the floor seems far away from you, then rest on the bed, a reclined supported chair or a sofa, any surface that means that you can lie on your back and feel secure and stable. And I'll see you there. Here we are down on the earth and we'll be coming all the way to our back as mentioned. Making sure you have anything underneath you, like a folded blanket, under the head and the neck, if lying down with the head directly on your surface underneath you, if it strains too much in the throat, or if the chin is lifted a lot, I always suggest that to level out and support the head and the neck. Feet at a comfortable distance for you. And maybe picking up the pelvis and shifting it towards the heels as you drop the pelvis back down, that lengthens the spine. Hands resting on the belly, elbows resting on the earth, and those hands can be at the side or anywhere they feel that they can, just the fingertips can connect to the belly itself. Take a big breath in. On the exhale, let the bones sink into the support. Maybe you close your eyes. And then start to come back to that steadier, regulated breath. And then start to notice that breath coming down into the belly. The increase, the inflation of the inhale. And then the exhale as the belly drops away from the ceiling. So notice how this feels for you. And then step away from any forcing or straining. At the beginning, we always tend to put a little more effort in. So let that effort in go so it becomes easy. That belly breath will become a little softer and that's okay. I'm going to keep that right foot down on the floor, draw the left knee in, give it a little hug, and then we'll circle that ankle nice and slow, I'm just getting that range of motion through the ankle, but we also want the slowness for the control, the strength, the awareness. You can point the toes, flex the toes at different locations, and then we'll pause and take that arm in the opposite direction. Take a little flex in that foot, spread through the toes, and then we'll draw the left knee up above the hip, and the foot up the heel up about knee height. Anchor in through the right foot and draw the belly down into the mat, and then we anchor the torso in. Hands can be in a cactus or a T next to your hips if that feels better, or even connected underneath the head. Take a look at your knee up above your hip. A little flex in that ankle will maybe feel like it's a little more supported. And then on the inhale, we're going to straighten out that left leg. Maybe a little, maybe keep a nice bend in that knee, or maybe we drop the heel down towards the earth. This, of course, is drawing in through the core, and then we're going to bring it back in space. The inhale is the extension, and coming back. Noticing how that feels. Option to keep in movement, option to extend the leg either a little or a lot, maybe even dropping that leg down. And here we are, three breaths. Can you take the breath down into the belly? And of course, this is an asymmetrical strengthening posture here. Always coming out when it feels right for you. Otherwise, we're going to stay for one more breath. 
And then when you're ready, we'll draw that left knee in, bend it, take it over the right ankle here. And here we are in a figure four. Pushing the ankle and knee away from you, great place to stay. If that feels enough in that left hip, then don't go any further. We've got that still, like a connection to the breath. And then the option is to hover that right thigh and draw the right thigh in towards us with our hands, maybe behind the knee, in front of the shin. Both feet flexed here, keep the chin drawn in, shoulder blades can snuggle towards each other. And just breathe. Can you still, even with this compression, get that awareness down into the belly? Let's take another breath or two here. Honoring your body, noticing what it needs here. And we'll take that right foot down to the floor if it was lifted, releasing the left leg. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Coming back to the regulated breath as we draw this time the right leg in. Great place to be here. Give it a little hug and then we circle that right ankle nice and slow. Pointing and flexing the feet. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Keep the foot flexed, hands coming wherever they're comfortable, and the knee comes up over the hip, the heel comes about knee height, so we're kind of in a 90 degree angle there. This is the exhale and the inhale, let's extend that leg, maybe a little, maybe we drop the heel down, use the left leg to anchor the left side of the pelvis, and we're coming back up with that bent knee. Isolating the movement and keeping the whole torso steady. Option to keep in movement or extend that leg. And here we are, three breaths. Can you take the breaths down into the belly here? If the breath is not stable, do a little less or take a rest. We're always building up in our own way, our own manner, at our own pace. Next time, we bring that knee up, a little stay, and then cross the ankle over onto the left thigh, figure four. This hip may feel very different, so be gentle with yourself option to stay here in figure four or coming into a more traditional thread the needle taking the hands to wherever they're comfortable shoulder blades in towards each other and the chins drawn into the base of the skull really anchored into the earth as the tailbone drawing down the back body anchors and yet we can still feel the presence of the breath in the belly Never forcing, never straining the breath. Just keeping that gentleness, that wave of breath coming in and out. And staying for the last exhale. And we'll take that left foot down. And the right knee comes to join it. From here, feet hip distance apart. Let's take those hands down by the hips, rolling one shoulder blade and another underneath us. On the inhale, push into both feet and then hover the hips. And just get comfortable here, setting up your foundation. If you need to adjust anything, please do. Great place to stay, just with those hips hovered a little option with that steady breath down into the belly can you lift the hips a little more and keep the breath in the belly so notice that increase and 
from that relaxation through the belly. Great place to be. Notice if you're putting more effort on one foot than the other or the inside or outside edges of your feet. Try and anchor evenly down. And the option is to lift up a little higher or drop the hips a little lower to keep that breath in the belly. Nicely done. Let's take another two breaths here. You can always come out easily or drop the hips a little lower. We want to keep an ease here, even, even as we increase our strength. And on the next exhale, we'll take those hips down to the earth. Beautifully done. Feet come a little wider. Maybe the arms come in a cactus or a T and let's just wash the knees side to side a little. Releasing any straining through the belly, through the hips. And then we'll come all the way back through center. Big breath in. Exhale it out nice and steady and smooth. Mm -hmm. And then from here, we're going to take the feet up towards the ceiling. Nice bend in those knees, nice bend through the ankles. You can give those toes a little scrunch and then release them. And then from here, lengthening through the back of the legs just a little. Keep a nice bend in those knees so that we're not straining here. And then we're gonna cross the right groin, the right foot over the left but not by the ankle, not by the knee, as close towards the groin as you can. It might feel very awkward and very um, compressive. And then when we're here, we're just gonna bend those knees. It might feel like super, super awkward. Hands coming towards the knees. Maybe they get there depending on the length of your arms. Maybe they don't. You can gather down through the thighs and we're bringing in a compression here. So compressing in the right thigh into the belly. You might feel this through the right hip. Option, depending on the length of your arms, you can lengthen those hands down towards the shins, the ankles, maybe even those feet separating. You can take the hands to the outside edges of the feet. We'll take a few breaths here. Can you, even with this compression, can you feel the breath in the belly? Mm -hmm. And then we release and release the bind. And then we cross the opposite left leg on top of the right, but way up by the crotch. Staying here and bending the knees in your own way, gathering those knees down. This may be enough, increasing that sensation in the left hip. Maybe you slide the hands down a little further. Maybe the hands can come to the outer feet. We're just bringing in a whole lot of compression there, down through the left thigh into the belly, and still, we have that awareness of the breath in the belly, even with that sensation in the left hip. And then we'll release. Legs go back up to the sky, and we're just gonna uncross them there and take the hands up too. Let the arms and the legs sit back into the earth, almost like you're a marionette and the strings are up by the ceiling. Easy through the joints. You can rotate those ankles and wrists, feet and hands, toes and fingers, and then the opposite direction. And letting all of the liquids fall back into the torso for a little bit, and then we'll take the hands down onto the ribs, and then one knee bends, the other knee bends, taking the feet down to the floor. 
From here, let's push into the hip, shift the hips towards the right side of the mat. Extend the left leg out, long. And then the right knee comes in, up and over towards the left. That left hand can support it if you need any blocks, pillows, blankets under the right lower leg, please take it. Right shoulder anchored into the earth. And then you can take the gaze over the right shoulder. Keep the breath going down into the belly, even with this deep twist throughout the spine. On those exhaling breaths, letting go of any tension, tightness. You can always play with where you like this twist to be. If you have a preferred twist, take that. And then after one of your next exhales, we'll come up through center, right foot comes down, left leg joins it. We'll shift the hips to the left side of the mat, extending the right leg this time. Left knee comes in, up and over, and we're in a twist. And we breathe, steady and smooth. Breathe down into the belly. Stay for as long as you like, or when you feel ready, gaze in the left knee comes up to center, plant the feet, bring yourself back into a central place. If there's any other movement you need to finish your practice, go ahead. And then when you feel done choosing, coming into your relaxation, whatever that means for you, and maybe it has a completely different shape altogether. Gather around you any props or blankets you need. Making sure that you're comfy here. Relaxation is not about enduring a, a shape for the end of class until it happens to be over. It's about honoring ourselves and what feels comfortable to us. And if we need a pillow under our knees, or the lights to be turned down, or extra blankets under our head or over our body to regulate the temperature, please take the time. The bliss is in the details. And wherever it is that you are, whichever shape you've chosen, Take one or maybe both hands onto the belly. On the inhale, feel the belly rise into the palm of the hand. And just as slowly, watch the breath leave. Keep going with those belly breaths, regulated breath down and through the belly. And the exhale just as important as the inhale. We're not forcing or straining here. And going at your own pace all the way to the top and the bottom of your breath. Let's take five more breaths, just like that. Belly breaths in and out. This is one of the breaths that regulates our nervous system deeper and quicker. It takes 10 breaths to reduce the stress response Activate the parasympathetic nervous system, that relaxation response. Take another couple of breaths. This is a great breath, a practice for when we're agitated.
agitated or when we are at the end of our day and wish to unwind. One more breath here. And after that last exhale, let the hand fall to a comfortable place and release the breath entirely. We let the body fall back into the earth. We allow the joints to soften and the muscles to loosen and lengthen. Our arms, our legs get heavy. Any tension and tightness throughout the body, allow it to unwind and let go. Release the mind from the thoughts. Not that the thoughts won't be there, but we release our attachment to them. Move ourselves back from being in the fray. And we notice with a curiosity. Hmm, my mind is thinking about that thing. body is resting. My awareness is everywhere. And in these moments we notice we are not our thoughts. We are not just our body. We are so much more. And our emotions, our thoughts, our body are all a part of us. But again, we are much bigger than all of them also. that arises soften and relax into the ease breath by breath moment by moment simply allowing it inviting it to happen so with every breath every exhale you settle deeper into the calm And you can stay here for as long as you like. And if you wish to stay for longer, let my words wash over you and not disturb you. If you wish to finish your practice, guide your awareness to the support underneath your body, all the surfaces. Notice your body resting, crown of the head to the soles of your feet, fingertips, nose. Notice the breath in the body, and how the breath breathes for you. Without needing to move a muscle, notice the breath in the belly here, however slight. That slight increase of the expansion, the inhale, the exhale, the letting go. It's 
starting to deepen the inhale just a little. Letting go of that exhale. When you feel ready and drawn to it, bringing awakening movements into your body in your own way. And deciding, choosing whether you want to stay exactly as you are or you'd like to slowly make your way into a different shape to finish up today. So in your own time, whether stillness is what you've chosen or a different shape, take a handful of breaths. And we'll find ourselves at the end of our practice. Settling in to the earth underneath us. If there's a hand gesture that comes to you, please take it. Take a big breath in when you're ready. On one of your next exhales, dropping your chin towards your chest gently in honor of your heart and your inner world. Thanking yourselves for being here today and honoring the lineage of this wisdom we call yoga. with a namaste. From my heart to yours, thank you for being here.